Hi friends, I'll give the best example how designer can save it's a lot of effort and lot of time uh, with the help of this customization. Uh, I have developed one tool. It will create automatically uh, different types of gear. So uh, I created one uh, VBA project. I'll open that. One. Just click on tools, macro and macros. If you already have loaded, there's no need to uh, uh, add that library. If you have somewhere in your different path, then just click macro go to add existing library you will select path here and you can load your library here so i have already loaded so i will not go in much detail i'll simply run uh, this one i'll show you before that uh, i'll show you how i created that model so this is the code basically and uh, i created this one is the ui user interface you can say so we can see here different types of gears per gear helical gear spiral bevel gear and straight bevel gear so uh, we user has to just give few inputs teeth number of teeth uh, module angle thickness and position uh, this is the whole shaft data so if we want that whole uh, with key then we have to just pass here shaft diameter key width and key depth so this is the rotation angle helix angle if you are if we need uh, if user wants to create helical angle so that at that time user has to provide some angle so uh, you see in this picture how uh, how much degree it will be uh, 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 tilted so that teeth how much degree it will be tilted so uh, so uh, that depends on these inputs that angle so I think those who are from mechanical background so those uh, those people knows very well this gear terminology so I'll not go in much details I'll show simply how it works UI okay once you open this UI uh, you see just you have to pass few inputs I will give 30 as a number of teeth module I'll, I can select 2 here I will give angle 20 thickness is 20 position is 0 and I want this shaft uh, as well uh, so I will give the shaft diameter as a uh, uh, 20 diameter and uh, key width is uh, 5 depth of, uh, also 5 and I, I want to create per gear here so i'll show you how it will be created that 3d 3d model within a few seconds so let's try it so we have to select here please enter chamfer in this direction okay so we have selected this option so with chamfer uh, we want so x direction and y direction how much chamfer we want i'll show you that one also let's say i'll give here uh, 3 and 5 so 3 so let's draw it will create like you see this per gear is created right for as a designer it will take a lot of time uh, even for expert also to draw this type of gear it will take I think uh, at least 15 or 20 minutes so uh, within a 3 seconds this 3d model loaded right it, it got created so that is the power of uh, customization and automation so I will show you once again I'll, let's create one more uh, I'll go to my UI and run again I will this time let's see we'll create some different one so I'll give the module 2.5 angle 20 thickness is uh, somehow 50 we can say position so this is this was for zeroth position now I can uh, take this is the with respect to y direction so I'll take uh, on something uh, let's say 30 uh, distance and we want that same shaft diameter so we have to provide here diameter 20 as a width is 4 a sharp depth also 4 helix angle we need to provide let's see i'll give the 10 angle here i need, i want chamfer so i'll give here x y 3 and let's select this helical angle and let's draw okay so within a second it got created right you see this data automatically created right how much time it took only for uh, only just uh, uh, two three second right that 3d model got created automatically but as a designer perspective it will take a lot of time so we can save a lot of time and efforts okay so uh, one more time i'll show you here if user wants to uh, load those data in our uh, excel sheet user can load i'll show you how we can load those data suppose my 
uh, number of teeth is 30 some model is 2.5 angle is 20 here thickness also 20 position somehow 30 i can say and now 50 shaft diameter is 20 and width is 5 here depth is 5 and uh, i'll select uh, some helical angle, angle once again so let's check here okay so i'll select here uh, uh, straight bevel okay so here chamfer option will be disabled because we don't want here chamfer so that's helical angle something we don't need even for helical angle also conical scale we need so let's give here 10 so let's draw and before that i will show you how it it uh, store in excel sheet this data okay so this is the excel i have already created and uh, there is nothing here inside this excel empty data so uh, how it will upload export those data in excel sheet and it will save automatically i'll show you so let's uh, see i want to save this data in my excel sheet so i'll click excel so i want to export those data in excel sheet so i just click excel so one uh, message warning message pop up saved in excel just go and save in excel how it works how it works so you see that data types of gear teeth number of teeth module angle thickness position sharp data it, everything will be saved in excel sheet and if you want to create one more okay okay so thank you guys uh thank you very much